noticed, I, I don't know if you know, I, I talked about this yesterday, if you're watching the stream, uh, uh, Dave in the club here has spent a lot of time to sort of collate applications, get the manuals uh, put together in a preservation effort. And so I think he's going to be very interested in what you have to say. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you guys have met previously, but it's, re it's really amazing to see because as a kid <clears throat> growing up with the Amiga, the, uh, the, the ray tracing stuff was always so fascinating. And then to see like Babylon 5 and, you know, we were talking about what the video toaster did and uh, for the Amiga and then what the 3D world did. I mean, obviously, as processors changed and graphics changed, um, it got left behind, but you, you can't argue that in that early 3D world, like the people moving into the industry, uh, the, the Amiga really helped drive that wave so that those young professionals knew the tools and they understood it because of what happened on the Amiga and the technology there. So I think it's really important. But uh, why don't you go ahead and uh, uh, take us away. Clear up. Great. Um, thank you for the invitation. Uh, thank you for everything, uh, guys. I'm um, you. You're doing great. I mean, we're also eager here in, in Europe to start doing our own um, uh, demo parties and uh, all, the, all these uh, gatherings, you know, for Amiga and ret retro computing. Um, so, um, starting with ray, ray tracing has always been a, a challenge for all of us because we started by you know experimenting things. Uh, our machines were slow, and uh, we actually wanted to reproduce the world how uh, we produce actually um, or create in three dimensions. So uh, the Amiga Ray Tracing Society started, and it, it, it was an early idea from since 1996, where I was um, um, doing with some friends, and you know, doing a light wave. And before that, some imaging or some real 3D. Um, but uh, it's really at around 2014, when after leaving the Amiga for a while and then coming back to it, because it was so fun to work with the, with, um, with the machine, you know, albeit being too slow, but, you know, you, you, you really had this, this feeling that everything was simpler. You didn't have to... to um, uh, you know, fight with Windows all, 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 all the time to, to get it to to run stably and, and all, all these um, things that you might also be aware of. Um, so 2014 was the first time that uh, I, I got uh, together with um, Midwan. That, that, that's his call sign. It, he's, um, he's also from, from Greece and he's the uh, developer of Amiberry now, nowadays. So we got together and said, you know, okay, I asked him what would be, you know, wouldn't be a, a great idea to have a place where um, Amiga users that are interested in ray tracing and 3D films gather together and could, you know, um, join their interests and their talents into creating something, you know, some uh, films or w whatever. He said, yeah, yeah, but how could we do that? And um, so it was... At the back of our heads, when we started a, and when we did a, a, th a short 3D film called Killing Game Show 4 uh, for the CompuSphere 2014 in November, where we re released it, and uh, it was, um, you know, we got very, very good re reception, and um, everyone was asking, wow, you did that with, uh, with an Amiga, it was great, and, uh, and, and all this stuff. So that was the beginning of a... Um, um, of a, a cooperation between two people that um, was like um, kind of studio-wise, you know, in, um, or oriented into creating 3D films. So right, right after that, I mean, it wasn't uh, things did, did didn't evolve that that fast, but um, um, during you know, one year, two or two, two years later, we started creating a, um, um, a, a website that could uh, host people that uh, would be uh, in interested in uh, 3D creation. So um, now, now, nowadays we have this in AmigaRayTraces.com. Now I'll try, I'll try to bend o OBS to my will and show you how uh, that look, looks to today. Just 
second. So here it is. Um, please let me know if you're watching my my desktop. Yeah, it's working great. Great, thank you. Uh, so um, uh, this this uh, website came in, in, into fruition where um, artists that already can 3D or people that would like to to learn um, can uh, browse the forums or watch a webcast episode list that I started last year. So even if people do, don't don't know, they they can uh, start by you know watching either the webcast that uh, is pre-recorded and there's also a U YouTube channel or enter the f find something or how can I do that? So the, po the possibilities now are, um, they are they're great many because there it's, it's not only artists that, that can work with uh, 3D. For example, Lightwave is a very mat mature program that has its own uh, a a API and uh, in for, for example, you can have a programmer writing your um, a plugin that is not that um, imp implemented, you know. Uh, and uh, there's also a great Rx implementation for Altwave, uh, as well as uh, see uh, where you could uh, compile your plugins. Okay, so I would like to show you just a quick um, in index of the episode list. So. Um, that is a project that started last year. So uh, I encountered people that told me, oh, it was, it's very nice to, I would, I'd really like to work um, uh, in 3D, but I know ne next to, to nothing, you, this is like, it looked like a miracle to me. And, it's, and I said, okay, look, uh, it's not that difficult, you know, all, all you have to do is um, um, try to learn the tools the program offers and then uh, Reimagine how you would like an, a real life object or an imaginary of, o object to um, be in your co computer. You know, um, so I started uh, step by, by step doing this uh, webcast um, that um, I think I began April 2020, and this is like uh, 50 episodes already um this year i uh, i didn't have much time due to family um and uh, job um, obligations so um however there is so much so much material here to to for for, for people to start uh, getting involved and um learn things how um, how it's done in the industry even um now I would like to point out one or two things. Yeah, this is uh, Lightwave oriented because Lightwave was the most mature program in uh, on, on our in our Amigas uh, that has been. Um, there is something here that is worth noting, uh, particularly uh, 43 episode 43 is seeking animations to audio. Perhaps some of you would like to. Uh, deepen into that space, maybe you're into audio more, and maybe some fr friend of, of yours is more into video, so how, you know, this this episode break, breaks down how we can um, um, join the, these two so that you, we will have um, uh, all the, you know, ev events um, synced according to, you know, to, to each, each other, you know, particularly audio st starts first and then you try to um to to couple the, the the video then and also um 42 uh for those of uh, for those of you guys that are fans of uh, terry pratchett this is the this is a ma magical number for the universe <laughs> so to, uh, for 42 um shows about how we can do um we can create render farms using either real amiga um with con connected with ethernet um, um to to have uh, render farms based on raspberry pis so that this is very very big because you know in the days of Babylon 5 sequest um they didn't have they they had, they had to have amigas i think they were they were using envoy there was it is a um a partic it's a similar to ethernet protocol but it was amiga only I, i'm not so sure about that but uh, they were using 
um, I think Babylon 5 was using um, something like uh, 500, uh, 2000 with uh, 030s or 040s, correct me if, I, if I'm wrong. Um, so nowadays you can uh, buy, say, five or, or 10 Raspberry Pis and run your render farm um, that your Amiga will be controlling. Okay, it sounds crazy. It couldn't be done, you know, by, back in our days. But nowadays we have this, uh, the, these inexpensive um, computer boards that can uh, help us um, have our own studios at, at home, you know, run by our, our Amigas. Um, now, in, in terms of the limitations of the, pro of the program, um, and I'm not going to talk about other programs, um, although I'm trying to, there, there, there's a sub project trying to um, uh, either find the Cinema 4D manual or translate the German one, because I don't speak in German, so uh, we would have to translate that, but it, that, that's, a, that's a side project that um, we can, I can say that um, it falls into the scope of Amiga Ray Tracing Society. Um, so regarding Lightwave, yes, it is version five. Uh, it, it lacks lots of um, the um, lots of the uh, how can I say the the features of new programs nowadays. You know, uh, but uh, what we can achieve with that is like we can innovate some of the things that are being done automatically by programs. For example, global illumination. I can show you. Um, let me see here. I have uh, these um, some big pictures here. That's how I've also used um, for my. Yeah, I think I should show my tutorials here. So yeah, number forty-seven. I think it's here. So this is, for example, this was done in light in Lightwave. Okay. Um, if you are familiar with the options that lights can do in Lightwave, you wouldn't be able to have that smooth and rea realistic uh, lighting. So the innovation here is that you create plugins to create uh, to have say 500 lights uh, that are um, quite weak in in their illumination, but um, if joined two together, they can create um, area lights that are not present in uh, Lightwave 5, but only late, later ver versions. And you can fake. I wouldn't say fake because what the newer, newer versions do is that they do exactly the same thing, but it's not visible for, to, to the user. So you, uh, you, we actually try to in innovate stuff. Um, we try to bend the program to our wills, you know? Um, so that's other th that's some other things that we are doing. Um, now, Amiga Ray Tracing Society is also a meeting place for people, say, that have an idea, a project, and they want to make a, a small 3D film or whatever, and they can actually uh, ask other users if they are interested, you know, uh, to for projects. Um, Amiga related always, okay. Um, do you have any questions so far? Any questions, any? Um, there's a couple of, uh, hold on, this is a little hard. There, there's a couple of um, comments on the YouTube channel. Uh, someone says they have the, Doug here actually said he's got the Cinema 4D. I think uh, you have it too, don't you? The English version. If you're asking, if you're asking me, no, I have found the, the German version only. Yeah, so no, I was asking uh, inside the room here <laughs> what we, uh, what oh, we have access to in here. So, uh, so no, there's no, uh, there's no real questions right now. Pardon? Do you there, there's no questions right now. Please ah, okay, great, great. So I, I won't, I don't, I don't think I have much time, but um, yeah, what else? Uh, I would like also to say, 
yeah, something here. I have some notes actually. I, I didn't have time to to put them online so on the on my my computer. Yeah, and I have also there are two members of the EAB forum. I, I would like to to thank that before creating the Amiga Ray Tracing Society were like a silent, um, how to say, um, endorser for all this. So the first member is Emu Fan that um, used to maintain a uh, thread a thread on EAB on you know English Amiga Board Forum that um, he used to. Um, search and gather all plugins and programs that were for, for for lightweight only so he had done he has done a tremendous work to in into gathering from the most insignificant plugin that you know says hello world or or on in inside lightwave to um sub programs that work uh, just like sparks that um, um, are particle generators and uh, the sad thing in this is that he hasn't been online for two, three years. Yeah, so uh, it's very, very. Uh, I, I, I hope he's he, he's okay. But um, I would really have to, had to. Uh, I, I would really have to to thank him for his work into preserving all all these uh, programs. And the other person is P. Govotsos. Um, that I would really like to thank that he is also a contributor uh, in into digitizing all his videotapes that he had since um, that at that time you know with the Lightwave uh, into making m making them into digital form so that we would be able now to have it to have them uh, available to us. So these two persons are very um, I, I'm I'm very thankful and. I hope the 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 rest of the com community, uh, they're very appreciative to their work. Um, if you do a simple search into the A B search uh, field, let's, let's say Lightwave uh, Lightwave plugins, you will find the thread, and um, a very very big a large list of plugins and, and programs. Um, so without um, taking your 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 time from this great event. Uh, I would really like to thank you. And uh, um, if you have any questions, I'll be I'll be very glad to answer. And um, if you have ever had the um, ambition or the the um, say yeah, let's say the the ambition, but never had the way to learn or. Um, do some stuff or uh, with Lightwave or other any other program in, in the Amiga, just uh, drop by, um, become a member, ask, uh, or just give your knowledge to other people. And um, I think we, we can do great stuff, you know. It doesn't have to look realistic. I mean, we uh, now nowadays even computer games, they are just like, um, uh, like uh, trying to clone reality, but that's not the, the point, it's not fun. Okay. Um, so thank you very much. If you have any questions, I'll be, I'll be at your um, disposal. Yeah, that's really interesting. I love the uh, website. I'm definitely going to check that out after. So um, any, any questions from the, the audience here? Okay, we have one. Uh, hold on one second, Mr. Toast. Um, let me uh, find one of the microphones and... Uh, these things are super sensitive, so kind of hold it like two or three inches from your face, but it's got to be pointed at your mouth for people to hear you. Yeah. Hi, Madeep. Can you hear me? Hi. Yeah. Here, all right. I'm a, I was actually an instructor at the Dave School in Orlando doing Lightweight for a number of years. Um, wow. I eventually, I moved on from it to different career paths, but uh, uh, Lightwave is still at my core. I've been uh, a Lightwave user since uh, 1991, uh, 92, sorry, 92. And uh, one thing I would like to ask you, are you leveraging some of the newer Raspberry Pi clusters to speed up rendering processes and using ScreamerNet to control it from the Amiga side? Yeah, exactly. Uh, so the, the Amiga side is, is running in ScreamerNet. And now you have to have also you, what you have, the requirements
plans for the Amiga from the Amiga part is um, a lot with with the health screen at um, uh, screen at uh, configurate configuration, and uh, you have to have Samba. Um, and the Raspberry Pi, the Raspberry Pi clusters has to have a. Um, uh, you're you're asking this, right? This is you, just a technical, yeah. Okay, and so the um, the Raspberry Pi cluster has to have a main a main. Um, no, wait a minute. No, 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 it doesn't have to have, to have anything. So uh, it de it depends. It depends where your um, network. 3D folder is. Uh, how I've configured in my uh, cluster is that I have a Raspberry Pi 3 running, um, uh, having my shared 3D folder. And so the Amiga is telling every other computer, you know, you, you, it, it, it sends work through that folder. So even the Amiga is looking into that vir um, remote fo folder. So the rest of the Pi's they are like um, uh, render nodes. So it's just the Amiga tells them, okay, take a frame, take a, uh, you know, take this scene, they, they load, they, each one loads the, the scene and they output the frames to the output directory, which in my case, it's also uh, the, the, uh, the Raspberry Pi 3. Okay, so you can, do that having an Amiga and all the other pies to be a node to to be nodes, okay? Um, or you can have uh, say the ra my Raspberry Pi three, or I can have it also running a uh, an, an Amiberry with Lightwave, and that being the uh, clone the um, the Amiga Master as as, as I have na named it. So you know, in case you don't have your you don't want to have your Amiga, um, you know, on you know, some day for 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 days or something. Um, yeah, I, I have some technical de details on for on episode four, forty two that uh, I think it will shed some some light. So, yeah, do yeah, have I answered your question? Uh, I think we have one more uh, question. Yeah, I am. Yeah, you're good. I'm, I'm uh, Dave Coombs. I've uh, accumulated or uh, collected a bunch of documentation for Amiga 3D programs. What I wanted to ask you is where can someone um, download uh, a, a version 5 of uh, Lightwave for Amiga? I've got version 3.5 and I've got a bunch of documentation for version 5, but I haven't found version 5 available. Is that still available somewhere? Or? Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's available as a bundle from in on the AB, EAB uh, site. You can go to, there is a link to there from a thread that's called how to install Lightwave on WinUAE or something oh. uh, inside the Amiga Raytracers.com uh, forum. Um, the latest version is 5.0R. Rom Ro Romeo. Um, um, there are some other versions floating around that are called 5.1, 5.2. These are hacks. Th these are 5.0 A's that didn't have the some some extra features, but they were hacked and they you know the pirates in in their in their effort to show that oh, hey I have the latest version they 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 changed there. Um, so you may be able to find it. I, I can show you how it looks, how that, that that looks like. So, can you see my my desktop? Yes. Great. So if you go to enter forums here, down there, down here, mm -hmm. and then I have um, there is the uh, I think the tips and tutorials. No, no, not here. Sorry. Setup, yeah. You will find you 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 will find a thread, uh, you know, um, a subthread called setup and troubleshooting. So running Lightwave on Un Win UAE, the first one, and then I have, uh, yeah, here, here's the link to the Lightwave 5.0 uh, Romeo, including the CD content. Okay, and and that there. includes Modeler also, right? Like both. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everything. Yeah, yeah. Modeler and Screamanet. 
I think it would. Yeah, uh, just let me see. Yeah, yeah, there was a Screaminet that was older, but I think that it, it includes a, a Screaminet 5.0 also. Yeah. Give, give, give it a try. If you have any questions, just uh, ask me if you would like to be a member. Yeah. Okay, so great. Thanks. Thank you. You, you're, you're welcome. Very cool. I, I'm learning that all the versions of Lightway I, I have are all hacked, bad versions, so... Uh, <laughs> no, you, you weren't the only one. Yeah, I yeah, I've got some more. also fall into that trap. Yep, yep. Okay. That's fantastic that it's uh, available in Brazil. Well, thank you very much. Uh, any other questions? Let me just check YouTube real quick. Uh, da, da, da. Some comments in the uh, channel about people building render farms with uh, SGIs and a vampire. That's kind of cool. Um, wow. Uh, there is a uh, there is a good question. I like this one from Peter. Peter uh, Elkinson has been asking a lot of good questions this, this for the show. Thank you for that. Um, have you thought about doing anything with Blender? Um, in Amigo OS 4, because we have a uh, uh, the version escapes me. It's like version 2.5 or 2.6 of Blender. Um, have you thought about using that on an OS 4 system? Um, yeah, of course. Oh, the only problem is that I, I don't have an OS 4 system. Uh, unfortunately, I, I run on 3.9 right now. I don't. Ha I haven't even had the, the time to upgrade to 3.2. Uh, but I've been using. I used to, to use Blender, I have to be honest. I used to use Blender uh, before I came back to the Amiga scene. Uh, but it, later, uh, earlier versions like 2.3, 2.4 were too intimidating in there. And uh, there, the, the user interface doesn't work. Um, it was not as intuitive and as user friendly. Uh, I think they have fixed that, but I haven't been there. Um, lately so as a Linux user I should be I, I think I have it downloaded and oh. it's it, it updates regularly but I haven't gone into the trouble I, I only click UA and I go into Lightwave and I have to say that I even use Lightwave for for my business to create in, interest for my other YouTube channel that I'm I'm building uh, I don't know if you guys remember tube amplifiers for guitars and stuff so I used I use that for making my animation so it, they look very um you know uh. up, up updated if you if you know what i mean so uh, but um, blender is a to do thing for me so perhaps some one of the coming years when i when my family obligations would not be that, that uh, heavy yeah but it's interesting because the the blender on os4 is a little out of date and my understanding is the newer versions have significant ui improvements can someone tag yeah, uh, Richard on the shoulder so he wakes up? Because he's snoring. <laughs> oh, hold, hold one second. Alan has a question, too. Very minimally good Blender 2.8, and ideally 2.9 is going to be the best one to make a big change. But I got uh, Blender early on, and it just hurt my brain. Yeah, it's good. 2.8, you can actually, a few can actually sort of understand. Okay. Much more. Cool. Great. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, great. Well, I want to appreciate uh, you coming out and, and doing the presentation for us. Uh, thank you for joining Amulus. Hopefully you can come in person next time. <laughs> yeah, I really love, I'd really love to. Love to have you here. You can set up a table and uh, show, off your, yeah. uh, show off what you're doing. Definitely going to check out the website. Really appreciate that. Yeah, um, maybe we do some workshops if you guys want to, of course. Yeah, fantastic. Um, okay, well, thank you so much. We're going to shut down the Zoom. Um, and then we have a couple more presentations. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye, guys. Keep it on.